All right, now let me ask you, are you, are you good at DIY? I try. Yes, I've been doing that at my house, so we're okay. getting there. I'm going to tell you about a man called Fred, Fred Sageman, okay, a recluse known by his name as in Fittleworth for his many cats until he died, and then no one realised that this house was a time warp. He's left the house to a cat charity, but if I just tell you what's in it, one cold tap, cooker was an old cauldron set over the Gosh. fire, and boots from World War One were found. Could you do something with that? That is a real challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Glavin's been a look round. Take a look at this. As the world passed by, Fulling Mill Cottage stood still. It's almost a time capsule, untouched and untroubled by the modern world. For generations it stayed in the same family. The last of the line was Fred Sageman, the smiling young man on the left. He started his days here and ended them here as well. When he died, the reclusive Mr Sageman, who kept dozens of cats for company, left this place to a cat charity. What kind of stuff did he have here? Um, very little in the way of modern conveniences. There was the water tap with uh, just cold water, no hot running water. So water would have been heated up possibly on the cauldron throughout the years. And I know going back over years, the family had a tin bath. Um, so he would have lived that very simple country life. But it may not look like much now, but there are hidden details throughout the cottage which give you an idea of how it would have been in its heyday. It used to be a guest house, and this is the visitor's book. And in 1943, Dorothy Cripps wrote, How fortunate I feel to have found this ancient home in these anxious days of war. I cannot imagine a better spot to regain peace of mind. The charity's restoring the old house to capture a lost chapter of rural Sussex life. Okay, so Yes. The Sussex Wildlife Trust is helping to revive the orchard and reintroduce local yeah, apple varieties that are dying out. So the plan is to restore it pretty well back to what it used to be. It's one of our priorities within the West Weald Landscape Project, bringing people and nature together. And if we can bring back that heritage aspect and the, the sort of historic character of the land aspect, it's just wonderful, very exciting. The house will one day be open to visitors, perhaps even as a guest house, so the outside world will get a glimpse into a small and simple way of life that's disappeared. Daniel Glavin, BBC South Today in Fitterworth. It's extraordinary, isn't it? Absolutely fabulous. Incredible. Pictures. They look yeah, gorgeous beautiful. inside in a funny sort of way. Take a lot of work, though.